check out the construction of this building with that foam over that hollow block and that fake texture just all falling off the walls here. It's a new place. This place ain't even, what, maybe three years yes, old? Yes, yeah. Nice bikes. Why don't y'all just drive it every direction? Yeah, it's maybe not even three years old and whole big chunks are falling off this brand new building. Parts of it hadn't even opened in here yet. Unbelievable. My luck. Luck or no luck? I have a luck, okay. So we have finally decided in our CR what we're gonna do in our Master Bass CR. We're gonna use a little bit of everything they have in this color scheme here. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Each one's gonna have its place. This is all in one series, this Lustro. As you can see right here, we'll pull this up when you see closer. So this Lustro, this is Lustro. So I may have to cut this in and out um, because of the music playing here, but this is Lustro, 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 and Lustro. This is a, a series. This is called Mortar Light, Tread Light, Tread Dark, Mortar Decor, Fur Light, and Fur Dark. And we're gonna use this one, and it's nice and textured up, on our shower floor. And it's gonna come up from part of the walls uh, this here will continue on the walls. There's going to be a border in our shower with this piece right here. Um, this is going to be on the walls and the main part of the master CR, master bathroom right here. This is going to be a border around the wall in that area. And these are going to run up and down like you see it there right now uh, to the sides of a mirror on the wall. Let me see if I can move that. I'm trying to keep talking loud to try to drown out this music playing so I don't get copyrighted over some kind of uh, sympathy music or something. And I'm going to run this one up and down uh, probably, probably what I'm going to do on each side of our mirror. If I don't run it like that, I'll split it in half and stack them and run it like that. I'll get a visual look of it when I get there. But to the left and right of our main mirror in front of our sink, but we're gonna use the whole color scheme they have here. And that's actually what we've been looking for, right, Mel? Something that had a set of colors, correct? Yeah, just uh, not so random, you know, except. Right, we, that's what we've been looking for, is a series, a set of tiles that's in a series all matching. And so uh, they're searching it all out. And of course, when you buy a tile here, anywhere in the country, it's all a matter about what do they have for inventory as well. Um, you may find what you want and then you go check inventory and there's not enough or they need three months before they can get more. How much did she say if they had to order more? It was going to be, what, at least a month or, or more? At least a month or more, yeah. And there's still no guarantee. So um, I sit here with all my measurements doing my math, how I can work all this together. And I think it's going to look great. Uh, like this here, it's just going to be in one area, blend it more with the dark, that, that like a series right there, these three in a series like in the shower area. And these three more like in a series in the main part of the CR is basically how you could break it down right there. And uh, so the main part of the CR, these three, the shower area, these three, and including the whole CR and and the walk-in closet floor and this one as well okay babe it's got a nice no slip uh like grip to it there i think it's going to be great while i'm here at all home i also want to check on something else i remember seeing here last year here it is right here i knew it was back here in this back corner and uh that is some casted pieces. Like, it's like a pre-cast, right? I think I may have shown this in a video long ago, but you see it's foam in the back. And this is kind of like a, a resin or a fiberglass shell on the outside. 
I am really considering buying some of this. They got three different styles, I think, here. Here's a style more squared. Here's this style I just pulled out more rounded, you see. And then they got, yeah, they got a couple smaller ones here too. Here's one real rounded in the smaller series. You can see it's a whole lot smaller than this other one. You can see right there, a whole lot smaller. And then they got one that's not so uh, drastically rounded out like that. Let me see if I can find two here to compare up by each other. You can probably see it anyway, but you can see the two different profiles right there. Lots of different profiles. But it's, these are not real heavy. I see each one's probably about three foot long. I wonder what this profile here would look like. This piece here almost reminds you more of a mantle piece. The way it sits. Yeah. I didn't see the pricing on these. Do you know what the pricing is, Paul? This one sure is 400. Uh, on. There's so many different ones here. 265. 265 each? Yeah. And what about, is it about the same price for this one? Uh, this one, sorry, 442. Wow, big price difference for a different shape. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go, right there. I don't know. This looks like something else that could fail down the line. Maybe it's like a fiberglass like on there, though. This right here is a different brand of roofing than that Decra that I was talking about. This is ERCM. It's very similar. It's got a texture a lot like an asphalt shingle. You see here. I'm trying to stay away from these speakers. It's so hard. Like here's an asphalt shingle. You know, there's some people say, never seen any shingles in the Philippines. You know, regular asphalt shingles. Well, right there. Owens Corning asphalt shingles. The problem is those people that say that, they're stuck way out in the backwoods. They don't ever get off their farm. They don't ever go out to these stores and explore like I do. Philippines has nearly everything. You just gotta get out and look for it. It's easy to sit there at your house and say, none of this stuff exists in the Philippines. But it does, it does. You just have to get out and look for it. So anyone that says there's no asphalt shingles, well right here, there's a three tab, there's the architectural, there they are. Anyway, back to this roofing here, they got several different stamps of styles right there. Yeah, that terracotta, it would look pretty good on our house. It would, that, that would definitely work. Some pine lumber here, like a two by four by eight. Man, you know, you're talking, ah, uh, shoot about 10 bucks each right there, you know, $10 each for those. Here at this place, I've seen them cheaper, but it's funny that they're even here these days. This used to be something it's just unheard of to find. They got two by sixes, by eights, they got tens, they got long lumber. I mean, there's some there, it must be 12s. Yep, sure is. Two by four by 12, almost $20 each. Now these are treated though, you see, that's for treated lumber. And some of these down here are untreated lumber. Two by twos, two by threes. It is all here. Hey, there is some more roofing right there. And, but it's not that texture and it won't hold up. That is the thing. I can't use none of this stuff. The salt will eat it away. It just, it won't work for us. It's a shame. I'm gonna tell you what, they make some of this it's stamped metal like this, and it already has a foam insulation layer real thick on the back of it, and it's flat, and it's already made the lap over on each other. The foam's already cut right and everything, and so it already has the insulation. They have that here in the Philippines. Uh, you usually have to order it. It is so nice. Of course, you're not gonna stack a whole bunch of sheets together like this. One stack is gonna be pretty tall because each one already has that foam made in on the back of it. But that is pretty interesting. Hey, looky here. Look right here. 
this looks good and these are nice long pieces and this is that uh this is that metal that's coated with that back there like i was talking about and i see like a terracotta color right down inside in here like a red this that's that's pretty good looking stuff right there how long is that get down here and get some uh pricing and see some of their colors so they got a red it's uh, 107 by 2.5 meters. So it's a little over one meter by two and a half meters. And that's the price for stone coated, charcoal gray, brown, and again, a charcoal gray. Now I wonder what the difference is. There's two different charcoal grays here. It must be two different styles of metal. Um, I don't know that's a good question and then one here that's called a coffee I, I don't know stone coated and stone coated different part numbers I don't want the gray anyway but two different prices so two and a half meters hmm boy it'd be nice if I could use something like that one long piece do my my deck on the back that is interesting i'm gonna do some math with this information that we just got right here they got a quantity that they only got four pieces of that one in stock but i could find a company that's got this that is a good alternative for me right there two and a half meters this is why I like getting out and seeing that. You see, that's pretty long. Back this camera up where you all can see a little bit better here. Yeah, that is a nice long piece. That's cool. I like it. I, I like the profile and all. What do you guys think? What do you think? That is, that's nice. I like that. That's definitely uh, a possibility and it's made a lot like that decra if there's such thing as uh, rock wool insulation here in the philippines well right there it is big old brick of it right there and uh so it does exist you need to make sure that you got a place that can really keep dry to have that the moisture will settle it um you know the humidity in the air here is hard for these type of insulations very hard with this humidity it'll settle and pack it down they're locating all this tile for me here but my truck's already so heavy i told them i'll probably just come here in the morning once they get this together and i'll pay them tonight and come load it in the morning it all stacked up right there that'd be a truckload for me in the morning there's still more right yes, sir. yeah so it'll definitely be a full truck from my little pickup but uh i'm excited to get those well everyone it's about eight o'clock in the evening and i am whooped <laughs> uh, mel had this medical appointment that for her driver's license she's still working on getting that she didn't finish before and then she lost her learner's permit and then we went to get all the paperwork for her to file for a lost learner's permit nothing's easy in this country and then after we went to all that she found her learner's permit yeah and uh so anyway 